Hey everybody, welcome back to The Loop where we are doing 30 episodes from Mother's Day to Father's Day focusing on the family. As I mentioned yesterday, some of you are spiritual parents and others of you are both biological parents and your spiritual parents. Whatever the case may be in your situation, today's lesson is so important for every one of us. In Romans chapter 5, verses 3 and 4, we read this, Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. Now, I don't know about you, but when I read verse 3, it always surprises me to see that Paul is celebrating this thing called suffering. I always think of suffering as a terrible thing, but Paul says that suffering produces in us some really good things. Now, I hope that changes the way you think about suffering in your own life, but I also hope that changes the way you see suffering in the life of your kids. You see, one of the great mistakes that we make in our parenting is we do not let our kids struggle, suffer, or fail. And yet I want to point something out to you. God has no problem letting his kids struggle. He has no problem letting us suffer, and he has no problem letting us fail. He doesn't enjoy seeing it happen, but he knows that good things come from it when it does happen. He knows that suffering produces in us a spirit of perseverance. It produces in us a kind of character that cannot be developed when everything is easy. And we need to become convinced of that as well. When our kids struggle, when they suffer and fail, it prepares them for the real world. It creates in them both motivation to succeed and a spirit of ambition that is needed to succeed. But let me also help you see the other side of that same coin. Allowing your child to struggle, suffer, and fail produces in them some really good things, but protecting them from struggling, from suffering, and from failure, that will produce in them some really bad things. Eventually, they're going to step out into the real world, and it will not be easy. When they fail for the first time, that failure will create in them a deep sense of insecurity about their ability to make it on their own. It will create in them a fear of failure, so they end up always playing it safe. You need to know this. The reason that most people never accomplish anything great in their lifetime is because they never try anything where there is a good chance that they will fail. Don't do that to your kids. Don't protect them from hard things. Instead, put hard things in front of them. Let them struggle on their own. Let them fail. Let them suffer along the way, knowing and trusting that God uses hard times to develop in us impeccable character.